Resting in exotic valleys and mountains lies the dwelling place of an indigenous tribe called Shardukpen of Arunachal Pradesh, one of the hilly state of Northeast India. Although Shardukpen people practice Buddhism as a religion, but they also have immense indigenous faith practices in form of mountain deities which depicts their closeness and sensitivity towards the nature. Every year during the month of December, these local deities are prayed and are sought blessings through a festival called Kik Saba, which means praying to the deities. Kik Saba Puja is a very important Puja. रिलीजन नहीं आने के पहले जो एनिमिज्म का जो पूजा है वो जो अभी तक किक्साबा जो है प्रिजर्व करके रखा हुआ है सेडुपेन का Shardukpan people have their own unique dressing code for both male and female. The warm and black hats from the fur of yaks for men and beautifully crafted beads wore by women are some attractions which usually come into full blossom during the festive seasons. The night when moon meets the seven star in the blue sky, this confluence marks followed by the beats of drum signals the start of festival Kik Saba. Shardukpen people from time immemorial had a close socio-cultural and economic ties with the residents of plains, mostly with Bodos of Assam. Fish plays a pivotal role in celebration of the rituals. The fishes thus captured are feasted in the evening by the community with an offering to the spirits of mountains by the priest. Finally, each house makes offering to the deities made of flower in 12 zodiac animal sign. Mokfepos, the warriors, are the main attraction. Village youths representing each clan and a house dressed in traditional warrior headgear, shield and spears are believed to be the protectors against all evils. Early in the morning, bathed in a holy water, these young boys leave towards the mountains to bring bamboos for offerings to the deities. A group of 12 colorful dancers who wait for warriors when they come down from hills. People who meet the warriors in the hill and bring them back to river. A group of 10 boys who cheer and lead the warrior during the festival. With loads of bamboos on respective backs, these warriors have to cross the river Diniko barefoot without any falls. Yeah. 
they are received by a group of fancied people called batpos. and colorful clothed people with hats and balloons called Gomchin pose with their dance. The bamboos so fetched by the warriors are then carried by each clan people towards the place of offering called Kamcha. With the continuous chanting and slogans Kitmo Ho Ho means well-being of all. On reaching Kamcha, the bamboos are offered to the spirits and deities. The rituals continue with dancing and merry makings. Performers or dancers, a group of ritual singers, they sing epic stories about the importance of festival. The prayers and offering continue with dances that embodies everyone present at the time with a sense of joy and happiness. Raising the hands in the tunes of drums, the crowd cheers, Creo, Creo, offerings to deities. The blessed threads are then tied around necks and wrists. This ultimately assures safety of each and every individual. Up to late in the evening, the villagers celebrate and seek blessings by way of a community feast and drinks. A tussle between the warriors and challengers culminating into a war dance depicts a battle between protectors and evils. Through this act, the Mofkepos, the warriors, exhibits its full show of strengths with whim, vigor and vitality to thwart away any kind of evils from the society. Sherdukpen culture is unique and one of its kind because of the fact that each and every one in the society has kept his and her own indigenous culture and its faith intake from time immemorial. Sherdukpen people is showing to the rest of the world how to preserve its own indigenous culture and faith without any loss and influence. Kik Sabha festival is one such example.